Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how I do screen printing on the cheap. I have looked at jelly, the jelly plates and I'm sure that they are absolutely fantastic but for how much I would use it personally I just don't think it's worth spending that sort of money myself for one. So if you're kind of the same and you maybe just wanted to give it a bit of a go or use it maybe once every now and then but didn't want to spend a, a lot of money this is how I do screen printing uh, without actually having to spend any money at all. It's all with things I've already got. So the first thing you'll need is an embossing pad from um, your your embossing machine. Um, this one's from the Grand Caliber. It's just a thin piece of rubber. You may even be able to pick up like a really cheap rubber mat. That may do the same job and of course I'm not saying at all that you will have the same results as you would with a jelly pad because I've, I've never used one one of the jelly plates sorry, I've never used one so I actually have no idea but this is just you know kind of fun way to make background textures and patterns and without having to, to spend the other thing you'll need is a brayer now you may have a brayer already if so that's fantastic I don't actually own a brayer and again it's another one of those things I look and think mm, shall I buy one shall I buy one so I, I have improvised. I have a small rolling pin and it's... I would normally wrap it in um, cling film. Oh, okay, shrink wrap, but I've run out of that. So I'm having to use just a plastic food bag and wrap it around. But that's fine. It, it'll work. Okay, the other thing you will need are some paints. Um, these are acrylic paints. I've tried it with acrylic paints. I've tried it with um, watercolour paints. I've used distress inks on it. They'll work absolutely fine. So it's just whatever you happen to have and whatever you'd like to use. The other thing that you may want to um, use are some some different stencils. These ones I haven't even popped out yet. I actually got those from my sister's yesterday. She was having a clear out and a pack that you know, came free in a magazine. Um, not the usual sort of patterns and that I'd use, but I thought I might be able to pick a few interesting bits from that. Right, so what you're going to need to do to start is get some colour onto your mat. You may also need to add a little water. And of course you could, you could paint this on here, you can use um, stamps to stamp it on here. But to start with I just want to put a nice block of colour onto my background. And again, yeah, if you have a brayer, I'm sure this would probably work far better than what my, oops, doesn't matter, it's on the back, that's fine. Far better than what um, my little rolling pin does, but. Okay. Right, so you have your, your base on the bottom. I'm now going to add just some, in fact I'm actually going to add a tiny little bit of I would do but it's not coming out of the bottle maybe this one will work better And I just want to pick up a little bit of this first before reapplying that. So I'm going to pick up some of the paint under some scraps. And the good thing about this is you can just use any little bits of paper and just keep picking up all your bits of paint or ink or whatever you've got on there to make as many backgrounds as you like. All right. I'm not really with it today as well guys, so sorry if I do just sort of ramble and not make much sense. Oh, it's not. 
anything that unknown is it? Um, so this is a bit of distress stain. I thought my camera had gone off there. Yeah, I know, I'm rubbing it all into the paint. Um, okay, cool. It'll clean. I'm an extremely messy crafter, for those of you who haven't realised that already. And I really don't mind making a massive mess when I am working. It cleans. Okay, so we've kind of got like a bit of a background now and a bit of a border around it. We need something a bit more interesting going on on there, don't we? Know? Okay. Yes, I have remembered to put my uh, writing on back to front. Makes a change. I'm normally useless at remembering to do things like this and it's not until then I've transferred it and realised that I'm upside down. Hopefully that will pick up. Again, it just takes a little longer with not having a brayer. Okay, there we go. So, oh, sorry, out of view. This does all work. I mean, this is a great way to make um, journaling pages and things rather than painting direct onto your page. Just picking up the little bits that you want. Now I am going to play around a little bit more with this and I will put photos of the finished thing when I've done um, because I'm sure by now you've kind of got the idea as to how you can make this thing work. When you're finished just make sure you give it a quick you know, good wash out in case you ever do actually want to use it as an embossing pad at some point. Um, I hope you found that interesting and I will be back sometime soon with something new. Thanks for watching.